Right, so it's important to actually spot the pattern when you look this way, right? So the first one, you have your plus 4, minus 3, plus 4, minus 3. Right, so if you do that, you end up with 4. Right, the second one, you minus 3, plus 3, minus 3, right? Then you plus 3 again. Right, so you get 6. Okay, for the middle one, it's the same thing, right? So you plus 3, minus 3, plus 3, minus 3, right? So you get 3. Okay, and the last one, you minus 3, plus 4, right? Then you minus 3, you plus 4 again. Okay, so once you do that, you get 7. Okay, so with that, you get your final answer for question 2. Okay, for question 10, right, it's a decreasing pattern, right? So there are a few things that you need to identify, right? So from 100 to 95, you know that you minus 5, right? And from here to here, you minus 11, right? And from here to here, you minus 17, right? So there has to be something in between that is of an odd number. Right, so if you are able to spot this pattern, right, you know that it's an increasing odd number. Right, so you see you minus 7, minus 9, minus 11. Just identify the pattern, right, then you can fill in the number for question 10. Right, you need to identify what makes up one set in question 24. Right, so which part makes up one set and one set, right? You just um, group your shapes into your individual sets. After you can find which is a pattern that comes next for question 24. I'll just drop the next hint. Right, so if you look at it, right, what makes up one set will be from here to here, right? So this makes up one set. Right, and again, from here to here, this makes up a set again. Right, so this is the one, two, three, four, right? So you repeat one, two, three, four. It has to be this one, right? Then number four has to be your answer, right? So for 24, your answer has to be B.